welcome back to my channel. Today is Monday, which means it's a Cricut tutorial, but today I'm just giving you guys some ideas what you can do for Christmas. This is a two-part series. Together, you're gonna get 100 Christmas ideas for Christmas. This will be 50 gift ideas that you can do for anybody in the family or friends list. And then the other video will be 50 stocking stuffer ideas. So if you like these videos, give them a big thumbs up. Make sure you click subscribe. I've got some amazing Cricut stuff coming for you guys in 2019, so you will not want to miss it. If you're completely lost, you don't know what a Cricut is, make sure to check out my channel because I can walk you through every single step so far to get you to the point where you can make literally all of these ideas. So let's get going because the list is very long. All right, let's start with signs. We're gonna break it up into a couple different types of signs, but number one, let's do some kitchen lover signs. And the next couple gifts will give you ideas of how you can do these signs. But kitchen lovers, people who love to be in the kitchen or don't love to be in the kitchen, you can make a sassy sign for them as well. There are so many ideas. I've put together a Pinterest board for all of these ideas as well. So check that Pinterest board out. All links in the description, like always. Okay, so going into the sign world, we can do metal signs. Metal signs are cheap are fun and they're super cool all the way across the board from nursery, teenagers, adults, farmhouse, love, all the things, okay, metal signs. Then we can do wood signs. Wood signs are great for stencil and paint. They can be really inexpensive. You can use fence boards, which are generally free if you find some. You can use scrap wood. You can use so many things with wood and make a sign for somebody and they love them. Chalkboard signs, we've done a lot of these throughout the last few months, especially since we had chalkboard vinyl in our boxes, our mystery boxes that came out. So chalkboard signs are super fun. Check out my Holla DIY series because I will be doing wood, metal, and chalkboard. So if you're confused on how to do any of those signs, we'll be going over those in Fala Lola Live -a Days, 12 Days of Christmas, all the things. String art, which can go so many different directions, so fun, but again, check out Pinterest because I'm gonna have ideas to all these. Canvas art, canvases are so fun. You can do so many different things. I feel like I'm gonna say that with everything I say. You're gonna do so many different things, but canvas art is always a really great wall decor thing that you can do for somebody. A t-shirt, again, I'm gonna put just in the description links where I have tutorials on how to do all these things because I've taught you how to do all these things. But t-shirts, a cape, I know this firsthand. I made a cape for a nephew once and he absolutely loved it. A video is also in the description because I've done a tutorial on that. Coffee mugs or tumblers, I feel like these are great for teachers, coaches, friends, anybody who you need a really inexpensive idea but they love the custom thing, coffee mugs and tumblers, let's do it. Survival kits, these can be super fun all the way across the board for whoever. Photo and frame, I'm not sure what I mean by photo and frame. Oh, photo and frame, that's what I meant. So photo and frame, you can just get a very inexpensive frame and put a picture in it. Maybe this is for a best friend or you have a teenager in the house who wants to get their friends all the gifts and you just don't have the budget to let them do that. A really inexpensive frame with a photo and then you can vinyl something really cute, an inside joke or something adorable on it. I'm telling you, you're not even gonna realize that you just spent a couple bucks on them. They're gonna know that you loved them. That's what they're gonna know. Uh, jewelry, now I will have a couple more tutorials coming on jewelry, but there are some tutorials out there and jewelry can be really custom and really pretty when done correctly. Rainy day fun, now I looked up umbrellas and rain boots, I'm gonna split them into two because you could do an umbrella or rain boots or you can pair them together and do some vinyl on them or iron on if you get a fabric umbrella, but how cute would it be to give a child or a best friend a really cute pair of rain boots and an umbrella that's customized, maybe a monogram, maybe a cute saying, maybe just some pop of glitter polka dots, something cute, you can do that. Window frames are actually one of my favorite that I've ever done. Vintage window frames, you just might have to look a little bit ahead of time throughout the year, but you might be able to find them. Pop on Marketplace, pop on Craigslist, see if anybody's selling vintage windows and 
do some vinyl on them. I love this. This is my favorite farmhouse decor I have in my home and I protect it with my life whenever we're cleaning or I'm like, don't break my vintage window frame. So that one's really fun. Floating glass frames. Now this is just kind of like a vintage window, but you just use a picture frame and you can put some vinyl on it and you take all of the backing out and it's just the see-through glass with some vinyl on it. Really pretty for some scripture or something really like an anniversary or something really sentimental, really classy, beautiful gift that somebody will love and will not cost you very much at all. Family birthday board, link is in the description. I have a video on this. This is a tutorial we did on with the creative sister. Super fun, I love this board. I, I, I love hanging this in my house. It's one of my favorite things to have as decor. A growth chart, if you have a little one in your life, these growth charts are super fun. Again, I have a video on how to do them, so check out how to do the growth chart. A uh, stuffed animal, now again, this could be for someone younger, or maybe you have someone older in your life who loves stuffed animals, but a custom name ironed onto it, or I've seen where they do the elephant ears and they'll put all of the stats of the baby when it was born, something like that. Maybe a new mom, can. this can be something that you give to her, or you can give it to a child that has something cute on it, but anything with their name on it, they're going to eat up. Photo silhouette sign. So this is where you take a photo and turn it into a silhouette of maybe a child and you vinyl it onto something or you iron it onto something and it's just that one of those sentimental things that somebody's gonna really love. A journal, you can take a plain journal and just decorate it and make it so pretty or you can offer a custom journal with like the iron on attached, they can do it for themselves. I know teenagers really love when I give them the gifts for them to actually do themselves. It's just kind of like a crafting kit, but at the end they get that gift that I would have originally made them, something like that. Super cool. A personalized blanket. So you can take anybody in your family and make something cute for them with a blanket. You just get a blanket and some iron on. You can do their grandkids' names, their kids' names, the dates that they really love. Uh, you can do a scripture saying on it. You can do so many things on a blanket. Planner stickers. Now this is for your friends and family who love planning. I know I would love somebody to cut, print and cut all of my planners stickers for me. If you are a part of my planner club and you have those, feel free to print and cut those all for a friend. Maybe get them a planner and a planner sticker. I just love that Christmas comes right before the new year because planners are actually a really fun gift to give as well. DIY kit, I kind of touched on this, but making any craft prepped ready for somebody to do. Maybe they don't have a Cricut, so you prep everything for them and then they get to make the t-shirt or they get to make the sign or it comes with a little bit of paint and a brush and a vinyl stencil and a piece of wood. So much fun and the gift that just keeps giving, right? personalized Bible or a book cover planner. You can make an actual Bible cover and put their name on it and then it can go over their Bible or their book. If they don't already have a Bible, you can get them a Bible with the cover on it. It would be something that I know I would treasure always. I also need to make one because my Bible's falling apart. So I'll probably be doing a tutorial on that soon. Personalized gift buckets. I kind of touched on this last year, but if you take all the gifts that you need to give somebody and put them in a bucket and put some type of iron on on it, if it's fabric or vinyl on it, if it's like wood or metal, it would be super cute. And I know it's always like a extra little part of the gift. You can give it as the gift holder and then they also get that little basket that says their last name on it or their family game night on it. And it's just a really fun way to package things. Gift card and handmade holder. Now I know that some people have a hard time giving gift cards, but if you spend some time making a really cute gift card holder for the gift card, you might feel like you put some love and special into it. And I know that most people love getting gift cards. It's just one of those things that it's like a catch all for everybody. You get what you want because you go and pick it out yourself, but putting that extra love of DIYing something for it could really make a big difference etched, etched beer mugs. Now I am launching etched vinyl on my website, but you can still get it other places as well. But if you don't want to etch a lot of things, but you want to make things look etched, you can use etched vinyl, which is really cool, 
versatile idea and you can do this for men or women or whoever but I really like the idea of like a glass mug alongside I don't know who does this but my husband might uh, makes beer for all of his friends and family and then giving a mug with their name on it etched would be super cool custom cozy robe and slippers I know that I would love this but if someone got me slippers and a robe but they monogrammed or put my name on the back or something cute a nickname and then put the monogram or my initial on the slippers I think that would be adorable and I would love them forever so I might have put that on there because that's what I actually want but who knows okay custom reusable Starbucks cups now these Starbucks cups are super cheap and who doesn't love Starbucks if you don't sorry because I do and I talk about Starbucks a lot but you can customize it for them and then give them the reusable cup and then they'll get 10% off their coffee all year you could even put that uh, gift card right inside of there you should do that that's a great idea uh, cute labeled jars for makeup brushes that's pretty self-explanatory, but you could even get them brand new makeup brushes and put them inside of there, put it in a cute bag, wrap it, so cute. Uh, where are we? Year, new year memory jar, just an empty jar that has some cut up pieces of paper, maybe some cute pens, and then vinyl on the front of it, memory jar. This will be so fun and I actually am planning to do this with my family is just having a jar out that people can write down their memories. Even if they're guests at our home, they can write it down and they can pop it in our jar. And then at the end of the year, we can read all the memories from the year and then it would be just a great place to remember the year. And this would be a good gift to give to a family or a friend as well. Um, a homemade spa day. This could be used with print and cut and you can use lots of fun things to put inside of it. You could put it in one of those custom gift baskets with their name on it and the gift that again just keeps giving. Felt crafting sewing kit. This is going to be fun for those kids. All you got to get is like some embroidery thread, some really safe bigger needles that aren't sharp unless the kid's old enough to handle it. Um, cut out pre-cut felt shapes and then let them sew them together. You're gonna have to maybe get some batting so they can stuff it, maybe some buttons so they can sew the buttons on, but you could make a bunch of these and give them to a bunch of different kids and they'd really love it. And then again, it's teaching those sewing skills that they will get to learn as they do it. You might need to print out some instructional kit for it, but I feel like I need to put some of these in our SVGs for 12 days of Christmas and give them to you guys. So check that out if I was successful in that venture. A photo clipboard, super fun, super easy. I'm doing this with Landis with her pumpkin pictures throughout the year because I take a picture of her in a pumpkin every single year. A roll out train mat, you just need to get a piece of fabric that rolls out, you iron on a train track and then little kids can put trains on it or cars and then you can give the trains and cars as well. Build your own fort kit. I've touched on this one before, but this one's really fun. It's a sheet basically with ties on it that they can tie up and then you make the cut the sheet case that it came in custom. You can iron on custom, you know, baby G's, whatever. I don't know. I can't think of a name. Atlantis's fort kit. It would be cute. Um, a snowman kit, if you live in the snow, it's just a cute little jar that has all the things in it that needs a snowman to build a snowman, a scarf, a hat, a carrot, maybe not a carrot, some sticks, really easy. And then you can vinyl on the outside Greg's snowman kit or whatever. Uh, a custom apron, again, anything custom, super cute, iron on somebody's name. PJs, we did these a couple years ago and they were our favorite. Thing that we have ever done not ever but it was one of our favorite Christmas memories we went to the beach in our PJs and we all had our custom PJs on they were super cute but you can do them however you choose to do them monograms sayings all that good stuff videos in the description dream board kit now this is for anybody who's getting into the dreaming world that we've experienced just make a board that says dream on the top maybe it's wood maybe it's canvas maybe it's metal plastic whatever but uh something that they can dream on i know that that would be really fun to give personalized camping chairs self-explanatory iron on something fun maybe your camping nickname maybe something fun a funny inside joke that you've had since camping since day one iron those puppies on and that'll be a good gift to give. Personalized cutting board. Again, that's a kitchen lover, but there's lots of ideas out there for the cutting board. You can do that as well. Uh, cornhole, that is 
kind of a bigger extensive project, but if you're into it, do it. I've seen people do it with their favorite teams and rival and all that, and all that good stuff, which I'm gonna say 500 times. Family cookie jar filled with your favorite cookies. If you're a baker, make some cookies. Give out cute jars with the saying on there that says, you know, this person's family's cookies. Beach towels for when the weather gets nice again. Customized beach towels are super fun. You can give it again with more things attached to it, but the towels themselves, you can iron on each kid's name or the family member's names on each towel and get them some new beach towels. A backpack. And again, if the person needs a backpack, this would be great, but you can decorate it or you can iron their names on it. Super fun. A family game night box. Pack a box full of games and then put on their blah, blah, blahs game night. And then that way they can put the game in that box every weekend or whatever their game night is and they can show the game that they want to play. A uh, custom recipe holder sign. This is a super cute idea for the kitchen again, but who, again, who doesn't like to cook or want to learn how to cook? If you don't, hopefully somebody doesn't give you this gift. And then last but definitely not least is a Cricut and or Cricut supplies. If they have a Cricut, they could always use more supplies. If they don't have a Cricut, they could always use a Cricut, especially if they sat through this entire video and they don't have one. They probably really, really want one. So check out my video. If you need to get some awesome Cricut supplies, you can check out shopantitay.com because I've got some really awesome cutting supplies there. If you need a Cricut, check out my Amazon store because I've found that that's the cheapest place you can get them, even and beyond coupon codes check it out links for all of this stuff is in the description i love you guys i hope you have a fantastic christmas don't forget to check out part two for 50 stocking stuffer ideas all right love you guys merry christmas and happy new year bye